Intemp Connect alarm notifications. You may recall from previous training videos and documentation that the data loggers we use um, with the Intemp product have the ability to display a local alarm if you exceed an alarm threshold of your temperature, either above or below a high or low alarm. Those alarms include a flashing LED, a red light, um, a little bell LCD image on the front screen, and an audible alarm if you uh, configure it so. You also, we also give you the ability when you're using Intemp Connect to be notified of an alarm condition after the data is offloaded from the logger and pushed to Intemp Connect. And let me show you how to configure that. We're going to log in to, log in to our Intemp Connect account here. And at the top of the screen, we're going to tap on Settings. And you recall we have several configuration profiles available to choose from. Four for the CX400 product, three for the CX500 product, and then you can create your own custom configurations. These will show up on your smartphone or tablet and are available to send to the logger when you're communicating via the app on your phone. So you would, if the logger is not logging data currently, you connect to the logger, you tap on configure, you scroll through the config available configurations, and then you click tap on start, the logger will begin logging data. If the logger goes into an alarm condition, again you'll get that local indication and I'll show you what that looks like right here. And here's an image of a logger that's in an alarm condition. You can see the red LED flashing and the little bell icon on the LCD display. If you wish to be notified of an alarm condition via email, you would set that up in the Intem Connect tab called alarm notifications. So here we can put in our notification format if we want to be in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius, what time zone we're in, and then we can add email addresses to have those notifications sent to. Once we have this configured we can click Save. So as before as we talked about in previous videos we want to communicate with our data logger using our Intemp app and our smartphone or tablet. So we want to make sure that we select I am an Intemp Connect user. We put in our username and our password for our Intemp Connect account. We communicate with the data logger. It transmits its data to our smartphone or tablet. And then the data is transmitted um, up to the cloud, provided we have Wi-Fi or cellular communications between our tablet and smartphone and that data is recorded in the Intemp Connect cloud account. If there is our alarm notifications configured as we said before, Intemp Connect will transmit those email that email to the appropriate people that are in the alarm notification configuration. And here's a, a, a sample of the loggers screen in our Intemp app our, on our smartphone or tablet that shows one of the loggers in an alarm condition. You can see the red um, lettering there indicating that there was an alarm that happened during the deployment. So we tapped on that logger in the logger scene, we connected to it, we downloaded that data and we can see it now it's up in, uh, we're back in our browser and you can see it's, it's uh, in the Intemp Connect account, it's been pushed up to our cloud and here's the, the file if we tap on the configuration name here we'll see the data and we can see we were in alarm the whole time uh, the pink area indicates that we were in an alarm condition for the entire portion of this deployment and we were also sent an email because we had that notification turned on here is what the email would look like it has all of the when the high alarm tripped uh, the time and the date and the value of the temperature that it was it saw that was in exceedance. And then you also have a link here to log into your Intemp Connect account if you wish.